Hi everyone, my name is Jyoti and in today's video I'm going to review this book which I just finished reading some time back The Monk Who Sold His Ferrari by Robin Sharma This book is like a self-help It's about uh, what is it and how does it feel like uh, following your dreams and achieving what you actually want what is the uh, reason of your existence and how does this man uh, who had reached at the top of his fame and uh, prosperity uh, you know leaves everything behind and then finds the eternal uh, eternal love for himself and uh, you know understands what his what his life purpose is so the story is narrated by this uh, man John who's actually a lawyer who's uh, working as an associate to a person called Julian so the story entirely rotates around Julian Julian is an a uh, very well known lawyer and uh, you know he he is the one who believes in constantly working uh, he you know uh, he doesn't give time for himself for his health he just feels that the work is the most important part of his life and that's actually his entire life that's what he feels about and he completely uh, forgets about what his personal life is and what does the health uh, demands and he completely uh, works and works and works one fine day julian is in the court and uh, he is uh, you know uh, still working he's uh, he's you know fighting a case and he uh, falls down with a panic attack and apparently it was a heart attack and he was admitted in the hospital and because john was very close to him and he uh, you know he felt that he was the only friend for julian he wanted to go and see him so when he went to meet him at the hospital julian just refused he refused to see anybody he refused to meet anybody this is when julian actually realizes that what he has lost in life he decides to sell off all his possessions including the ferrari and hence the title of the book the monk who sold his ferrari and uh, uh, that's when he decides to uh, move to india uh, and uh, you know to understand what his existence is all about he goes and that's where he meets the uh, saints from the himalayas and understands a lot about what yoga is all about and undergoes a transformation and then he returns back to us uh, after the tremendous transformation he comes back and john is not able to recognize him because he is a completely changed person uh, you know he looks much more younger he looks much more fresh he looks much more fitter and uh, then he shares all his experiences with john as to what he did in india what did he learn from there and the entire book from here till the end talks about his transformation journey so that's what robin sharma has tried to pen it across in this book so uh, 15 million books have been sold so far worldwide and this book has changed lives of many people uh, the way julian's life has been transformed from a complete workaholic to a person who believes in the uh, existence of himself in this world and you know what is it that uh, is important for ourselves the way he transforms john's life and uh, try to impact our life but there are uh, you know to be very honest there are certain things which uh, i may not agree with the book or although i will say that it's a very nice book uh, for you to read it across and understand uh, you know the journey of julian but uh, to be very honest there are certain things which i feel that is practically not possible uh, like you know i think everything should be in moderate condition but uh, like in you know for example uh, uh, it's mentioned that during the day and during your life span you should not have even a single negative thought i mean uh, seriously do you even think that's possible um i don't think that's going to be possible some or the other point of time you know when you are at your low or if something uh, happens with you you do tend to get little negative and you know you have that th thoughts in mind but uh, it's not practically possible to have zero negative thoughts i know it's always good that you should not think about anything negative and you know you should uh, reduce on that but it's not practically possible to have zero negative thoughts another thing which i feel about the book is that uh, you know the conversation between the two characters john and julian is too much 
I think almost uh, 80 to 100 pages in this book is only a conversation between both of them. I know that it's, you know, sharing its experiences, but uh, at some point of time, you know, um, I thought that I will give up on the book. I'll be very honest, but, uh, you know, uh, because I wanted to know more about what Julian's experiences was, I was going on with it. But uh, at certain point of time, it does become a little boring. It does become a little monotonous because, you know, it's only conversation. So uh, that's my personal experience, but uh, definitely you can read it um, to be very honest. If you ask me, I may not have a repeat of this read. Uh, sometimes, you know, when you're just sitting and you want to read something, I don't think I will read this book again. I think I've got it enough of it and uh, I have understood, uh, you know, and I think I've got the gist of what Julian wanted to talk about and how his experiences was in India. So uh, it's a fair book. I think uh, if you have time, uh, uh, honestly speaking, I had too much expectation from it the way it uh, was uh, you know the way it was hyped everywhere and 15 million books have been sold already so I, my expectation from this book was a little more i have completed reading the book and uh, i think um, you can read it too uh, and it really helps uh, changing some of the perspectives of your life uh, you will really like it uh, i do like it but i did not love it love it right so i will not give a negative rating to it but uh, i can give a three out of a five for this yeah so that's about it and I'll see you again next time with some other book reviews. Till then, bye-bye.